But today we wanted to talk to you about eating out. Um, on Saturday, we met my sister and her family and her adorable little baby. Oh, it's just the cutest thing. Her baby is five months old and she's sitting up and she's just real wide-eyed yes. and really Not good. Not one complaint. Quiet little, little yeah. one. So we met them for dinner at a steakhouse up in Baltimore on, uh, on Saturday night. And this is a restaurant we've been to before, but when we were there before, so they do have a veggie burger and they can veganize it, leave the cheese off, leave the change mayo the off, yeah. change the bread. So they can veganize it, but when we were there before, they had thrown the batch away because it was too spicy, so they didn't have it, which was disappointing Which for would us. have been perfect for me because I like my food spicy, right. so I would have been like, ah, oh, really? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Um, so last time we were there, we asked them, since they, we didn't have what we had planned on eating, we said, well, can you make a pasta dish? And what we found is that most places, if you ask, can put together roasted vegetables and pasta, which it's probably gonna have some olive oil in it or some kind of oil in it, because when they roast the vegetables, they usually roast them in oil. But just no matter where you are, it's always an option to ask them to make something that's off menu. Now. It probably will be more expensive than it should be. I think for a pasta dish, we ended up paying like $16 yeah, so, last yes. time. Yeah, I think it would be comparable to whatever their dinner plate pricing is. Right, even you know? though you can make pasta and roasted vegetables way cheaper at home, right. obviously. Probably less than what it costs to make an appetizer. It's true. So, but you can always ask. And what we have found is that um, in the time that we have been moving toward plant-based, which has been uh, going on two years now, Restaurants have become much more accommodating. Eating this way is becoming more mainstream. And so when we first started, we would get like really nasty comments from wait staff. Things like, well, you can read the menu. You yeah. can tell as well as I can what's vegan. And it's like- That's what we didn't go back to. Like, no, you, you can't tell because you can't tell what they put in things. Right. Whereas now when we go out, they're always really accommodating. Right. They, they'll ask, they find out. They, uh, if they don't even, know, even they, the staff will say, like, they'll tell us, like, well, you have to change this or you have to change that. But well, we don't even have to ask. Well, we used to have to say, but doesn't that have, you know, egg in it or doesn't that have dairy in it or something like that? Yeah. And, and they're pretty, I mean, it's, you know, especially, I mean, again, we went to a steakhouse mm -hmm. and we're able to get a vegan meal. So. Right. Now, I do try, when we're going to go out, I try to look at the menu ahead of time to kind of find out, you know, what the options are. And if they have a way on their mm -hmm. website to email, I'll email them and say, hey, this is what we like to do. What, what, how can you accommodate us? And they've always been really responsive mm -hmm. in that way, too. Now, like I said, you are going to end up with oil. So it's not ideal. So I'm definitely not telling you, oh, yeah, eat out every day. It'll be mm -hmm. fine. This is more about the once in a while, not the every day. Right. This is you know when you're going out once in a while. I know there's a lot of people um, who eat out multiple times a week. And I've said before, anything that someone else is making for you, aside from like a friend in their home, is not going to be as healthy for you as if you make it yourself. Mm -hmm. And I have to go back to you know people like, well, I don't have time or I need more convenient food. When did eating become so inconvenient? Yeah. Like when did it, the I, sustenance I, of life? I can actually inconvenient. answer that question. It was when the big food companies realized that they could turn eating into a chore and a responsibility that no one wanted to do and that they could take ownership of it. And so they the the marketing has told us Cooking is inconvenient and it's it's a chore nobody wants to do and don't it, spend all your time in the kitchen. All sorts yeah, of, all I this, can remember the commercials. They make up all this noise about how feeding yourself is is such an inconvenience. And that's just not the case. Like feeding yourself should not be an inconvenience. Well, I mean, if you really want to talk, uh, look at it, I mean, the dinner, your, your family dinner used to be a time where families came together and you talked about your day and you, you know, you became a family. Interacted were, Right, together. I mean, you were a family. Yeah. And now it's, you know, the kids are eating in their room and, and you know, you know, everybody's eating in their own little space and they're just grabbing something quick and it's always convenient food, it's always unhealthy. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a shame, really. I think you got some... Uh, oh, a comment? I need to pay attention. Hey, Laura! Good it's morning, good to see Laura. you this morning. Chelsea's here too, that's yeah, fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so yeah, if you need to eat out, and which I understand, like sometimes you do. We do yeah, it's sometimes. sometimes. And we enjoy going out together. Like this place that we went to on Saturday, it's unfortunate that it's an hour and a half away because we like the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. They're accommodating. Um, we, we would go there, I think, regularly if it wasn't an hour mm -hmm. and a half drive. And because they're so, you know, they're so accommodating. I mean, now I'll, I just, this is just a tip. This is just a side tip. My own personal <laughs> preference is that if you go out and they have a vegan burger and it's like an impossible burger or one of those, and they also have an option of a bean burger. And they usually call that a vegetarian dish. Um, they can veganize that as well. 
And I have found, I don't know if you feel the same way, that that's a better tasting meal and it's much healthier for you than the, um, you know, Impossible Burgers or, if you ever looked at the ingredients of those, yes, they're vegan, no doubt, and yes, they're, you know, plant-based, obviously. Right. But there's just so much ingredients in there. I mean, and you have found it. She's actually allergic. But there's something in them that bothers me. Right. I don't know what's in there. Chelsea's making a good point. Says you can sit on the couch and watch people cook on the Food Network, or you can cook. Right. It's exactly. a good point. It's a very good point. Hey, Brandy, it's good to see hey, you morning, this morning. Brandy. Yes, absolutely. Um, but definitely I agree with you that if they have something, one of the um, mass marketed um, plant-based burgers mm -hmm. like the Impossible Burger, but then they have one they make in-house, ask them if the one they make in-house is vegan or can be veganized because mm -hmm. you're probably going to get a better uh, product right. if you if you get one they make in-house. Yeah, and usually what, what they call it a vegetarian burger because they put cheese on it or, put, or they put mayo on it. So it's not the burger itself, right. it's, it's, the, it's the way they make it. Mm -hmm. And so you can, that's pretty easy to, to veganize. And you can always get it without the bun, not because the carbs are a problem, but because they've put milk or dairy or, or eggs or something yeah. in the bun. Now they they um, exchange the bun when you want it to be vegan for a uh, gluten-free gluten bun. Gluten-free bun. Because I guess they don't use egg or, or dairy or anything to make yeah. that. What did you think of it? I thought it was fine. I mean, you, well, you saw how much was left. Yeah, you ate it all. You know? And I even ate the french fries, which, and so here's the thing. Usually because I'm not used to eating oil, that oil will upset my stomach or will, uh, I'll definitely know I had oil. I had no problem, so I, hands down, I wish I could remember the name of the place, but uh, Stanford Grill. Is that what it was? Stan I think yeah. so. Stanford. Yeah, it's on the other like side that. of Baltimore, so it's not something that if you're in this area, you're gonna hop down really quick and go right. eat lunch or something. Yeah, but it was good. I didn't end up eating most of the bun because it was a lot of bread, and I, I just it was too much, too much bread for me. And instead of the fries, I got the squash. Right. They had a, and I asked, I asked the waiter, I'm like, well, what other sides do you have that are vegan? And he said, oh, we've got a squash one. And he, <coughs> he actually listed the ingredients that were in it. And it did have olive oil in it, which, you know, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know if I'm eating out, I'm going to get oil. Right. And that's okay. Right. And so what I'd say is there's a lot, a lot of restaurants you go out to eat that can accommodate you. A few we can name right off the top is this place we were at. We went to Red Robin and got a vegan lunch. Mm -hmm. I mean, Red Robin. I mean, seriously. So, yeah. so you know. And then we, um, the Cheesecake Factory Cheesecake is another Factory. one. It has several. I mean, they have like three or four different options for... Um, you do have to ask them, though, because yeah. their staff isn't as well They're not knowledgeable. As educated. Yeah. So you can pull out your phone, and if you Google Cheesecake Factory plus vegan options, it'll tell you, mm -hmm. and you'll know more than their staff does. That's one thing about Cheesecake right. Factory. And if you're a sushi fan, but you know that the fish is not good for you, and you want to eat, you want to be vegan or whole food plant-based, you can find options. I mean, we go to our place that we like, and it's a vegetarian, they call it a vegetarian um, sushi, but basically it's just plants. Plants. Yeah. It's just, you know, vegetables, but you have the, it's made like sushi. And for us, sushi is more of a delivery method for Soy wasabi. Sauce and and wasabi. And, yes, exactly. And yeah. so we like that experience. So we go there. You know, periodically. Now, those are high sodium, I mean, we will say. And any time you eat out, you're going to get into with sodium. And I definitely feel it. Like the next day, I'm very thirsty. I weigh a little bit more for a couple of days. I definitely notice when I eat out that there's more sodium. But you absolutely can. And even some of the fast food places, like I know Chipotle, you can make a vegan. Chipotle is another option. A, a vegan yeah. um, burrito bowl thing right. there. Again, oil, but you can make a vegan. Um, I know even some of the really fast food, like Taco Bell and that kind of thing, you can do vegan stuff. Right. Um, well, also, I don't eat those things, yeah, but that's well, because my choice. Whenever you're dealing with fast food, you're dealing with convenience and you're dealing with speed over accuracy is the best way I can say it. Yeah. So they're not going to give you the best quality of product. They're going to give you the cheapest product they can get but still qualify under yeah. the criteria. And you will you will notice if you don't eat out uh, you know regularly if that's not the way you eat um, typically yeah. it will change the way your body behaves. Like I definitely know that my body um, acts a little bit differently. I'm a little more bloated. Um, my GI tract is a little slower. Mm -hmm. Like it's just, it's different when I eat out than it is when I mm -hmm. eat the foods we eat here at home. So that's something you have to be aware of if you're gonna eat out, but it absolutely is possible. And you know, I, I hear a lot of people who are traveling for work and um, they're, they're bringing stuff with them like you know oatmeal and, and things that they can eat in their hotel room. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're traveling internationally, don't bring food with no, you. They, they will they frown, frown upon that. I, I, quick story, back when I was my bodybuilding days and, and the professional bodybuilder I was a trainer for, we went to Europe and he packed like the pastas and all the stuff that he wanted to eat because this was a one month tour we were on. And we got into the um, airport overseas, uh, I forget which one it was, and they wanted to open up one of his suitcases and in the suitcase was all this food. All the alarms went off. 
I mean, unfortunately, they didn't know I was with him right away. Like, so they kind of pushed me through, and I was like way away from him, waiting, waiting fast, and oh, God, I'm going to have to bail him out or whatever. But uh, fortunately, because he was a very popular and famous in that sports, once they figured out who he was, they kind of packed him up and sent them And pretended it didn't happen. Right, exactly. But if you're not that person, yeah, so they just may be, be aware. a problem. Yeah, don't, don't take yeah. food overseas. Yeah. Um, she says fast food is comparatively healthy. It, de it depends. If not if you're eating the, the animal products, but if you're choosing uh, if you're choosing vegan fast food, it could be better for you certainly. Right. But it will change your gut. Um, you may have issues with gas if you're not used mm -hmm. to eating that way. Um, I definitely find if I eat vegan cheese, that is not good. Yeah, and ask questions because I mean, interestingly enough, so I got this uh, the vegan burger. They made it vegan for me, but they gave me French fries. Now, the waiter actually said. You know, because you asked if, um, how do they make the french fries, and he said, well, they do use the same oil that they make the calamari, he said. Mm -hmm. So that was an option for us. And again, we're whole food plant-based, so it wasn't a deal breaker. But if you're, if you're ethically vegan, that may be a problem. That, that may be a problem, so, so make sure you ask questions. those questions. Yeah. And, and if you, um, you know, what's Valerie have to say? There is a place here. Called Ganges Grill. You can ingredients and cook it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice when you can do it yourself, absolutely. Yes. Chipotle, yes, absolutely. Chipotle is comparatively healthy. Yes, yes, absolutely. Chipotle is a better option than some of the other fast food options. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what it comes down to. If you're going, you know. Now, if you find yourself in a position where there's just no option, like you can't, there's no option. You have to order um, a product that has some kind of animal product in it. You can you can ask them, you know, what what can they do? What what can they how they can minimize it? You can push the the meat out of it. Um, so there are things you can do. That is not ideal, and I would definitely not recommend going to restaurants where that's going to be the case for you because that's going to be really frustrating. Mm -hmm. And make sure you, I mean, like so. And she's much better at it than I am. But ask the questions, like how do they make the baked potatoes? Do they? Because a lot of places will rub bacon fat on their baked they potatoes. They put lard on their baked potatoes. Right. Yeah. So. You know, again, if you're ethically vegan or even I mean, we're whole food, whole food plant based and we don't want those baked potatoes either. So um, ask the questions. Yeah, uh, make, and they can, you can usually ask if they'll make vegetables without butter. Mm -hmm. Like they usually can do that. And that's also true for the pasta sauce. So, so uh, we go to, um, what's the place? Brio. Brio, uh, which is in the mall by us. And it's an Italian restaurant. And if you give um, Dr. Robin Odegaard's name, they will actually make you a dish that's the roasted vegetables, and they'll actually make a separate sauce because their normal sauce has butter in it. They usually put butter right? in their sauce. Yes. So that's a question. If you're getting pasta, make sure you ask if they put butter in their sauce because that's something they and if you go to Brio, places do. Give yeah, her name. You give my name, and, and, and they'll, take care they'll of pull it up. And, and it's actually a, a pretty good, uh, a pretty good dish. I haven't had it in a while. We'll have to go right. there again. Yeah, soon. Exactly. Yes. So um, your, your best option is always going to be to call ahead, check the website, and, you know, ask the questions. But choose the options that are as be the best you can. And then, of course, don't eat out three or four times right. a week. And I, I was going to say, and the other good news, too, is it's becoming less um, uncomfortable to yes. be that person at the table because it's becoming more commonplace. So if you're a type of person that feels awkward and you're like, oh, everybody's going to look at me, it's becoming more and more the standard where people are asking the questions. Like I said, these these waiters, the waiter that worked, um, you know, waited us, had very quick answers and knew the right answers. Yeah. You know, so it's becoming commonplace. So don't feel uncomfortable. They're kind of expecting it at this point. Yeah. So that was our experience of eating out on Saturday. It, it went really well. Um, we enjoyed it. We had a good time. Um, the food did not bother our stomach, which we were very happy about. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not. I'm not disappointed in, in what I got to eat. Exactly. So I think that's good. Yeah, and I just say that 2019, as I've been telling people, is the awakening that's going to happen in this country and I think in a Western society about how eating more plants is the way to go for a long time. It's good becoming health. more and more mainstream. It you know, really and, you, and you know how you know? Because if you look at some of these fast food restaurants, they're starting to come out with these accommodations because it, the trend is inevitable. So mm -hmm. that's good news. Absolutely. So I think that's all I've got for them about yes. eating out today. Or we could ramble on for another hour. We could, but we won't do that. Yes. Um, to you. Are you good now? I'm good now. <laughs> all right. And so with that, we will say... Eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great Have day. Have a good guys. one. We'll see you tomorrow.